Thanks for staying with us here on the Media News. Now, the Trade Union Congress has presented an uh, increase in the national minimum wage as one of its demands to be met before the removal of fuel subsidies can continue. The union presented its list of demands at the meeting held inside the presidential villa with a delegation of the federal government, led by the secretary to the government of the Federation, George Akume. Others in attendance are the governor of the Central Bank, the group CEO of NNPC Limited, former NLC President Adam Zoshiamole and other officials mandated by the federal government to join the negotiation. TVC News State House correspondent Femi Akonde reports. Leaders of the Trade Union Congress arrived for a crucial meeting with the federal government over the removal of fuel subsidies. This time, discussions between the federal government and the Trade Union Congress are fruitful but still inconclusive, as further talks will continue on Tuesday. But the Trade Union Congress succeeded in putting a list of demands on the table for consideration by the federal government. The topmost of these demands is an increase in the national minimum wage. Ah uh, Yes, the demands the demand are so long, there are so many. Uh, yeah, there are so many. Uh, part of it was the demand for a minimum wage. And uh, we stated that for us, it is quite apt that uh, the minimum wage today is not a living wage, as we all know. The value of the minimum wage since was that negotiated has plummeted to a very abysmal level as it is today. So we've, um, uh, and topmost in our demand was clearly stated at all that for utmost good faith and in the interest of social dialogue, that they should revert back the pump price. Why? discussion continues. The federal government understands the consequence of a failure to meet the demands of the labor unions and has continued to hold talks. The demands of the trade union congress will be presented to President Bola Tinubu as the federal government hopes to ward off a looming workers strike. Uh, most important top priority on the list which the government is also looking at very seriously, and the president has announced before, is the issue of the uh, minimum wage, which the labor movement has demanded as a consequence of uh, these uh, removal of uh, the consequential impact of the removal of subsidy. So government is looking at that, and uh, Mr. President uh, is most likely going to uh, constitute a tripartite committee, uh, that is the committee of federal government and including the states, then the organized labor on the other part, and the private sector. Uh, now this is a tripartite arrangement. It will be a committee that will study all the dynamics of a wage increase, the percentages, the numbers, and the categories that will be affected. So by Tuesday, when we come back uh, to uh, reconvene and meet with the TUC again, the labor movement, we should have very concrete uh, items to present to the world. President Tinubu and the Trade Union Congress seem to be on the same page regarding the increase in the national minimum wage. Still, the other demands presented for approval will determine how organized labor and the federal government will walk the tightrope of the removal of fuel subsidy. Femi Akonde, TVC News, Abuja.